Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. This video is going to be about uh, retiring my DeSantis Apache ankle holster and getting a new one in service. So in April of last year, April 2021, I did a review on my ankle holster that had been in use for about five years. It's now January 2022. So just a few months shy um, of that video. So this holster is, is close to six years old. This holster has been a daily holster. It's been an EDC item. Um, I don't wear shorts a whole lot. So um, it's, it's hard for me to say how many times last year and the years before um, that I went without uh, pants on or wearing shorts, um, I'd say probably at most, at most, 10 times out of the year that uh, I went out and about with shorts on. So uh, the rest of the time it was wearing pants and having an ankle holster on. So we'll get into it. So this is the, the holster that uh, has been in use for over five years. In my previous video for this, um, I talked about the, the wool um, backing right here coming loose, coming apart. And then this little, uh, there's a white piece of uh, cushioning inside of here. Uh, it has since fallen out and I don't know where it went to. But uh, there used to be a little white uh, pad inside of here. And what was happening was, um, since this had broken loose, sometimes that white pad would come out and I'd kind of have to shove it in here and push it down back into these little recessed corners or whatever. Uh, but this thing has eventually just kind of completely torn away to where it wasn't staying in there very well. And I've gotten rid of it. Um, Using this without that little white pad in there hasn't been bad. Um, it hasn't been hurting or anything like that. I can feel it on some days, um, depending on how I'm, you know, what kind of socks I've got on and, and what I'm doing. I can feel it press it into my ankle bone, but for the most part, I can go most of the day without really noticing this is on me, just like before when everything was perfectly great on it. Uh, the Velcro, after all these years, is still pretty good. Now, the hook part has a lot of the um, the uh, sheep's wool or whatever um, kind of stuck into it. So, it's not 100% the same as it was when I first bought it. Now, if I were to take the time to pick all this stuff out, I'm certain that it would have a lot stronger bite. But even still, like it does pretty good to hold on there. As far as the stitching, um, this it looks very similar to what it did in April. Maybe some of this has frayed a little bit more. Um, so you can see some of the stitching here coming loose at the bottom. But it's not a whole lot to cause any type of catastrophic holster failure or anything like that. Same here, a little bit more uh, stitching and fabric coming loose there. On the body of the holster itself, um, got this little piece right here, this piece here. Uh, that's it, nothing else really coming loose on the, the body of the holster itself. Up here, some, some uh, loose stitching. Overall, still really good. Thumb snap operates as it should. Still really good. Again, the only negative thing I have to say about this holster is the, the little nylon strap that goes across the top of it. But as I've talked about before in my previous video, that's not a, a deal breaker for me. Um, it's not like I would need to quickly reholster once I get down to my ankle gun. Uh, once I get down to my ankle gun, 
chances are pretty slim that I'll I'll reholster this thing. Like this is my this is my last ditch effort gun. Like if I get down to this gun, bad shit has happened. So I don't really see a need for quickly reholstering or anything like that. But yeah, here's the old holster and here is the new one. So let's open this bad boy up. See what brand new versus old looks like. Paperwork, let's get that out of the way. Just a second, let me make sure I don't have any addresses or anything showing. All right, so paperwork's out of the way. Um, so this is okay to show. It's just a return and exchange instruction sheet, um, customer, customer information. Uh, the other paperwork, of course, is the invoice. Just showing what's in it and uh, shipping address, all that good stuff. So you don't need to see that. All right, cardboard box no longer needed. So it comes with a, a neat little case. Um, it's interesting. It's, I mean, it's it's a nice package. Um, I just. I don't know. I mean, I, I obviously don't know how much packaging and stuff costs, but it seems like it's a little overkill just to, to hold this thing in there. So, but it's cool. Like, I could repurpose this for something else. Um, use this to hold something. Uh, you know, I might even take the old ankle holster and throw it in here. And um, throw that in my training box for props. So I've got a box of... Uh, uh, holsters and other stuff that I use when I teach a basic gun class or a, a concealed carry class and uh, I just show people you know what different types of holsters look like stuff like that so I might just throw that in there here is the holster brand new oh yeah very aggressive velcro um, so the, the the backing is different it's kind of has a more orange color versus more of a yellowish color um, and it seems it seems slightly different um, than what this stuff was so I don't know exactly if this is still sheep's wool or not but um, yeah it seems very uh, very comfy to say the least of course I'll snap this open and we have tongue depressor and instructions warning use of DeSantis products with firearms for which they are not designed for or those that have been modified or customized greatly increases likelihood of an accidental and potentially dangerous discharge okay uh, so this although there are no instructions with it I have got a pretty good feeling what this is for so this uh, strap is adjustable and you can uh, hear the Velcro in there as it gets moving around. So this, this would just, as you're trying to do your adjusting, you can separate the Velcro and as you are adjusting it, use this to cover up some of the Velcro, get it positioned where you want it with the gun in there. So you take the gun out, stick it in there, uh, snap it closed, right? And then with this uh, popsicle stick, or tongue depressor, whatever you want to call it. You separate it, keep it down in there, and then you could move this down in between uh, the gun and the popsicle stick, get it where you want it, pull the stick out, and then the Velcro is mated to it. So I would, that, that's the only thing I can think of why that's in there. So now we're gonna transition the Glock on over. And yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> so if you actually carry on a daily basis, you're going to have uh, body lint on your gun. It's inevitable, like it's going to happen. So 
it's normal to have the, the little body crud and stuff on the gun. It's not going to always look 100% pristine and nice looking. So there we go. There is the Glock 26 shoved down into the brand new Desantis Apache ankle holster. Um, I forget how much this was. I went to the Desantis website and got it. Um, uh, $64.99. So this holster was $64.99. Okay, so you'll notice there's kind of a different uh, view. My um, memory card and the camera that I put in there was the wrong one, so it stopped recording kind of early. Instead of just redoing the whole video, I went ahead and obviously copied down what I had and decided to add on from here. So I believe that I got my money's worth from this holster. When you consider five years of continuous use on a regular almost everyday basis like I said earlier um, I don't wear shorts a whole lot so you know last year I may have gone at most 10 days wearing shorts I'm not even sure if I even wore shorts last year we didn't go anywhere that would have required wearing shorts so the years before that, uh, you know, went to the beach or whatever, I think maybe at most 10 days. So for the most part, almost year round, uh, this ankle holster was used for $64. Um, and I think that was roughly about what I paid for it when I first got it. It's hard for me to recall. Uh, a buddy of mine was working at a uh, large chain store and he was actually able to get me the holster on his employee discount so I don't know how much exactly it was it was probably around you know 40 50 bucks or something like that but the craftsmanship in it uh, it lasted quite a while and it could still be used actually um, it's just obviously time to get a new holster <laughs> um, so for roughly you know 60 bucks five years that's a pretty good return on investment now there are cheaper ankle holsters that you could find I don't recommend them because they are an inferior design and craftsmanship they will not hold up to five years like this one did they're not going to be very comfortable and they're not going to be very user friendly um, if you have not figured it out by now when it comes to life safety equipment you get what you pay for and you don't want to skimp on life safety equipment because the minute you start trying to save a buck or two and you buy crappy equipment, that crappy equipment is going to fail on you a lot faster. And it may fail on you during a time that you don't want it to fail on you. Because if it does, it could be the difference between you being alive or dead. So when it comes to good life safety, life safety equipment, good holsters, you're going to have to pay you're gonna have to pay more than 20 bucks, right? Like, for the most part, especially waistband style holsters, it's gonna be well over $50 um, that you're gonna be paying for a good holster. But anyway, uh, this is the review of the old DeSantis Apache holster and the new DeSantis Apache holster. Now, um, what I will note is uh, this right here, where the cursor is circling at, this is um, a little metal tab for utilizing the calf strap system. So it doesn't come with the calf strap. That's something you have to buy extra. But there, basically there's a, um, a band that goes around your upper calf. And then a piece of webbing comes down vertically and will uh, clip into this. Or um, I can't think of the wording. You know, it'll loop into this somehow. And... Uh, It'll keep your ankle holster uh, more stable. Uh, on this one, the um, 
that little strap, the little piece, it was not in that same spot. It was actually, um, I want to say, somewhere like right in here on uh, the band itself. I'm not... I'm not 100% sold on this being in its location. Um, when I held the holster in my hand and I pressed on this area, it engaged the magazine release. And I, I didn't like that. I put it on, on my ankle, and I pressed pretty hard uh, against the side of it, trying to press it into my leg to make the magazine release activate. I couldn't get it to activate. Um, so I'm a little on the fits on whether or not to just go ahead and cut this thing all the way off. I'm going to wear it for a little bit longer um, and press on it and play with it a little bit longer, get a better feel for it. Um, I'll probably just end up cutting this thing off. Now, each person's body style is a little bit different. You may have ankles and legs that you would require the use of a calf strap. Uh, me, I don't have a need for it, so I'm probably just going to end up cutting this little um, metal piece out. That way I don't have any chance of this thing pressing up against the magazine release and dumping the magazine out of my last ditch gun. That's pretty much it. If you like what you hear and see, go ahead and give me a like and a share. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching.